Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the exclusive Moon Knight version of the Kaiser knife called the October. So if you're as excited as I am about this knife, power through those close-ups with me and I'll bring this knife to life. The Kaiser October comes in a bunch of different versions that have different blade steels and handed materials, but today we are going to be looking at this Moon Knight version. This exclusive variant was released through Kaiser's Friday Club, which is a section on Kaiser's website that releases special editions of their knives on one random Friday every month. The designer of this October knife is Dmitry Osarenko, who goes by the nickname D-O-C-K, or DOC. Kaiser is the manufacturer of this knife, and they are a popular knife company that is based out of Guangzhou, China. To deploy this knife, you can use the flipper tab, or the way I prefer is to use the thumb hole in the blade for more of a thwacking sound effect. Now, I am torn on what to call the blade shape. To me, it looks like a sheep's foot with a bit of a belly, but the Kaiser website says that it's a cleaver. What I'll do is quickly go over the benefits of both of the blade styles. That way, you can make up your own opinion on what you think that is. Sheep's foot knives are generally good for slicing cardboard, doing basic food prep, carving wood if you find yourself out in the wild unsupervised, and other simple day-to-day -day tasks like opening letters from Nana. I do have a fun fact about how the sheep's foot blades originally got their name in my first ever video on the CRKT Pilar, which you can check out here. For cleavers, they are not good for piercing anything due to there being a no pointy end like a drop point. So what is it really good for? Usually you can chop things with them, some basic food prep as you might see with traditional cooking cleavers. And I did learn that there is a difference actually between a meat cleaver and a vegetable cleaver. Meat cleavers tend to have a thicker blade stock so that they can handle chopping through bone. And you learn something new every day, even if it's since folding knives, especially smaller ones, aren't exactly the best at chopping, I'm not sure why I would try to use this as a cleaver. One of the places that I actually got the blade shape information from is actually from NAFS. I added the link below and I recommend that you check that company out. They've got some pretty cool cat knives in here. Alright, so getting back to this knife. The blade grind is flat. You know, nothing fancy, pretty minimal. And on the blade, there is this groove right here. It's a common detail on knives and it's called a fuller. Some people do refer to this as a blood groove, but the real purpose of the fuller has nothing to do with blood. The benefits of the groove is to lighten the blade without reducing the strength of the blade itself. The blade length on the October is 2.93 inches and the knife has an overall length of 7.11 when it's opened. And as always, be sure to check your local laws in your state for what you can and cannot carry. I am not a lawyer and I do not get paid a lawyer salary, sadly. The blade steel is 154 cm, which is a stainless steel that was first developed and manufactured by a company called Crucible Industries in 1959. It was created as an improvement on 440 c stainless steel and it was developed to be used to make the ball bearings in the turbine engines for airplanes, which is just plain awesome. 154CM has improved hardness, edge retention, and corrosion resistance over 440C, but some tests show that it has less toughness. So this knife has a liner lock, which means that there is a liner on the inside of the handle that will hold the knife in place. And on this version of the knife, the liners are not skeletonized, they are gold colored. So fancy. You can see the liners through the decorative cutouts in the handle scales. Let me tell you, this was a great design choice. It's subtle, but it really does make the aesthetic pop. The handle material is a white micarta. And side note, any light colored micarta is going to get dirty very easily. I am so afraid of carrying this in my jeans because I don't want to get the scales stained blue and I want to keep this as clean and pristine as I can. 
For those who don't know, micarta is a composite that is made from layers of natural material such as burlap, canvas, linen, or even paper. And then it is soaked in resin and compressed into a sheet, smooshed, if you will. And this material actually dates back to the 1910s, making it over 100 years old. It makes for amazing hand and material because it actually gets grippier when it's wet and it's very strong. It's a bit softer than G10 and therefore not quite as wear resistant, but it's still a very good handle material. The Kaiser October does have a reasonably deep carry pocket clip, but I would argue it's not 100% able to be hidden since the top part is still going to be able to be seen. And the other downside is, is that it is not reversible. I might also see if I can find a gold colored pocket clip. While this clip does match the blade itself, I, I just feel like it needs more gold. Now here's the downside. This knife is limited edition and unfortunately it is currently sold out. I will leave a link in the description to the listing on Kaiser's website, but I'm not sure if it's something they plan to restock. The original price wasn't too expensive at $89 considering the materials and limited nature of the knife, but now people are reselling them online at more than twice the price. I have no plans on selling this knife, like, ever. Sorry. I am, uh, I'm, I'm too much of a nerd, and I just, I love this knife. I am sad that a lot of people seem to have missed out on getting one at the retail price, because some people purchased a bunch with the intention of just flipping them. I personally recommend not paying more than the original MSRP unless you really have your heart set on this knife. Let me break down the things that I like and the things that I think could be improved on. First of all, I love this knife aesthetic. And I've stated many times that I am a nerd. Like, like more of them. And when I heard about this, I just knew I needed to save up and get it. And I love the feel of the micarta, and it might just be me, but the texture feels a little bit more rough. However, I think this works because it reminds me of the bandages of the overall character design. Look at my little bubble head, he's so funny. And the texture reminds me more of what Jake Lockley might carry if you're more familiar with Moon Knight's different personalities. But if Steven or Mark were to have their own EDC knife, I feel like their handles may be a little bit more refined, more like a nice white G10 and smooth. And also this liner lock, oof, oh, it's so pretty. I also love that there's a pattern milled into the handle. It gives off the look of overlapping bandages. And of course, the little details of the gold accents throughout the whole piece screws and pivots, it, it really just gives off a really great look. There's not a lot I could say that I don't like about this knife. I think the only thing I could do without is this fuller. I'm not a huge fan of them. I think they're a little extra. And I would also probably have liked to have preferred a gold pocket clip, but overall those are really super minor complaints and I think they really knocked it out of the park with this knife. Now I want to tell you about the extra details that I added to this. I ended up getting a thin paracord due to a late night paracord search. And this is what I get for staying up past bedtime. I thought I was buying 550 when I actually bought 275. Uh, and sadly this fancy gold and white color only comes in 275. Womp womp. The color though is called Klondike and I added the link for it below. For the bead, I purchased it from ZNC Metalworks, but unfortunately the item page isn't available anymore. So I just added the link to the store's Instagram and Etsy for you. So for the people who are interested, the nails that I have to match today are a Kissed brand Press On White Nails and this cool nail polish that I actually picked up. It's called Nailtopia. And the name for the color is called Liquid Gold. So. As always, I try to end with something inspirational, something nice because, well, just because. So my cheat code for you today is to add a little bit of a paper towel into your bag or container of salad, spinach, or other green leafy vegetables. It helps to absorb the moisture and it also helps them last a little bit longer. 
So that's it. That's all I got. If you could please subscribe or share my channel or videos, I would appreciate it. Thank you everyone for taking the time and making it to the end. My self-esteem thanks you. I lost my place in line. <laughs> Thanks. However, I think that I think. Wow, I can't English today.